IRAP Xenoflin and Associates with your morning flash update for this Wednesday and we're at the 19th of May 2021 right at 8.30 a.m. Central Time. Well, stock market down, big break happening in the marketplace. You know, on your charts, if I were you, I'd mark off the May highs right now and right next to it, sell May go away. Until those highs are taken out, we look to have possibly put in a summer top, an early one admittedly, but the possibility is there. I'll take a look as it goes on. Energy prices getting slammed, $2 a barrel down. We were just in Brent, as you know, at $70 yesterday. We went to $66.74 today. It's looking more and more like Iran is going to be putting out more oil on the marketplace. They're even opening up a new port. I don't know if you saw that in the news yet, but that would be open probably this month. And, of course, you know, they claim they don't sell the oil and all the sanctions are on them because of it. Well, China keeps buying it. In the grain market, they're just getting smashed. Look at the corn down another 13 cents. Rain hitting the Midwest now, and that's what you're going to deal with over and over. Want to see a market get smashed? Bitcoin. Yeah, that's not wrong. Down $9,000, you hit 30000 So this market has fallen 50% in just a matter of about three weeks. Pretty amazing. I'll tell you a market that's giving you a different story. If it holds up today, gold is making a statement about inflation. And that will be an impressive move if it can hold up. The dollar got up about 20 points higher than this, has since sold off, and the marketplace is all of a sudden looking at currencies, wondering just what is going on. The MBA mortgage market recap, well, as you can see, the index itself up 1.2%. When we were looking at the purchase index, down 0.41, and the refi, yeah, that was up 0.4. So people are doing work in these uh, interest rate environment. At 9 this morning, a half hour from now, the vice chair quarrels of the Federal Reserve will speak before the House uh, Financial Services Committee That'll be interesting to watch. And all eyes, for whatever reason, they've decided that they want to see the Fed notes to see if the Fed's going to do anything. I think it's a waste of reading. The Fed isn't going to make a change right here. It's going to be more of the same, but that's my opinion. That comes out at 1 o'clock. Eurozone activity picking up. And I'll tell you something in the Eurozone that you want to look at. Interest rates, the Bund. It's very close to going to zero. Now, this is a market that for, what, a year and a half or so has been negative, and suddenly the market is going back to zero. So something's happening there. Keep your eye on uh, the uh, euro currency. Once rates go positive, that could have an impact on them in a positive manner. We will see what goes on. I want to remind you all, you know, I, I know you, you try to sit there and try to figure out what's going on, but markets go full circle. And a lot of time, people need somebody to talk to. I want clarification or I'm new in this. Uh, what do you think? What, what should I do? I like the idea of being blah, blah, blah. Who do you talk to? The goal of the broker is to agree and disagree, to tell you what they see. It's in their best interest you do well. Why? You're going to pay them a commission. You don't do well, the commission stop. It's really very simple. Now, what is a commission? It's a, a payment for service. But for that service, you get the market reports. We'll give you a trial to my services so you can see what I'm doing as well. All my brokers are versed in everything I did. I hand trained every one of the brokers in my techniques. Does that mean they're me? No, but I think you'll find they're pretty good, and they have the ability to work with you, set the rates that they think based on the uh, volume of experience you need, how many times a day you're going to be with them, what they're going to be doing for you. They work out a plan. Is it any different than anything else? No. But if you're looking for somebody with years, and I'm talking years of experience, those are the brokers I hire. I don't hire fresh brokers. I only go with the older brokers that have been around. We've been with each other for years. We know how we operate. Give us a call, 866-973-2077. What do you have to lose? It's just a phone call. I'm Ira. You have a